Galactic Federation of Light Update, November 1, 2016. 7 men, 18 Zek, 13 Kaban. Drazo. The process to separate the Illuminoids from the people continues to move forward. The new Nasara Republic is quickly surrounding all who somehow remained loyal to the USA Incorporated government. This is just the beginning of an operation that is to take down at last those who for so long illegally ruled America. In this new time, America is slated to take its place alongside those who so bravely fought to bring in this set of Gassara governments. We salute all those brave men and women who gladly sacrificed themselves to allow this new time to happen. The global RV is swiftly to become a worldwide reset of currency, and also the legal start of a new financial system. The final death of this arrogant cabal is indeed to be a godsend for the people of this world. It is finally to permit all who were to be forerunners of a new prosperity to partake at last in this process. It is, moreover, allowing us at long last to petition the world's governments for a declaration of understanding about the nature of this glorious first contact mission. This global affirmation is only the first and most important part of our initial announcements. We intend to show that the new spiritually oriented governance has a powerful and heavenly broad ally. It is our purpose to use our first broadcast to end all the propaganda that your movies and television programming have spread about us. We all need to make a fresh start and begin a general disclosure about who we truly are. We have drawn up a timetable for when ships are to make their initial landings around this globe. It is essential that you get to know us. More important is for the new governance to work as planned and to bring you the prosperity and freedom that you so rightly deserve. The mass landings are to take place once you have grown accustomed to being diligent about watchdogging them and are assured that all is in accordance with what we have told you. Once we feel that this new reality is working and beginning to achieve its first goals, we are going to do two things. First, we need a mass landing to introduce you to your mentors. Second, we intend to introduce our replicators to you. The way is then set for a swift path to full consciousness. Long ago, the Dark was permitted to put its representatives in charge of this surface realm. Heaven told them that this time was to be a most magical moment for all humanity. The Agarthans knew of this and told the masters of the grand decrees emanating from Ian. These powerful chants cause great changes to begin to manifest here only a few decades ago. These changes brought one of our science and engineering fleets to your solar system. These brave explorers were told to be ready for a special mission that was to guide you back to full consciousness. Thus, we have participated in a consciousness revolution led by Heaven's most administrators. The events now swirling around you are to bring in a new realm alive with freedom and prosperity. Take this time to reflect and make swift plans for your wondrous part in this magnificent adventure for your ever-growing human soul. The way is being cleared for you to learn of your past times here and to reconstruct the marvelous wonders of nearing an encounter with your true selves. This approaching reunion between the human surface dwellers and the galactic humans of this large sector of galactic space has been long in coming. Your history, as set by the Anunnaki's minions, denied how we are alike. Instead, it grossly emphasizes potential differences. The minion's false science attempts to establish that you are descendants of certain ape-like creatures. This nonsense is repeated in various other sciences that continue to deny that a hollow inner earth can exist. The result is a body of localized knowledge that needs a vast amount of revision. It is the upcoming shock of many who deeply believe in these facts that is to enable us to formulate a new science for all. In this coming together of a plethora of new realities, you are to realize your true history. It includes the exact nature of Lemuria, Atlantis, and your three golden ages. In this amalgam, presented by your ascended masters, we are to give you the opportunity to understand at last why you are here, and how important is your return to full consciousness. We can only say Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Blessings of Grace and Joy We are your ascended masters. 
The past month has seen the beginning of successes that are to lead to the new Nasara Republic and the disbursement of the large global prosperity. This project has taken literally centuries to complete. The fall of the Anunnaki and their minions has been a long, carefully illustrated endeavor. Now this seemingly endless project is approaching completion. We ask you all to thoroughly appreciate the fruits of this long labor. Our various members of the worldwide network of secret sacred societies have been able to set the stage for the overthrow of the dark. They've also been able to construct plans to be carried out with joy and passion by those whom we recently instructed in what was needed to distribute this vast wealth. We take joy in how easily all of this has been put in place to be carried out. We give thanks and blessings to heaven for how well its grand plans are succeeding in altering this land for the light. How momentous the coming months are to be. Most of all, we intend to thank each one of you for what you have done, both collectively and individually. Your blessings and positive visions are another factor in the splendorous success that the light is currently enjoying. Consider what your visions are accomplishing. You are making possible new governance and liberty, and are ensuring your own wondrous prosperity. We ask only that you stay true to your master visions for your many projects. This is just the beginning. Soon, we are to come and tutor you in your true histories. Use these histories to understand just how important you truly are. Guy is depending on you to implement this new technology to clean up your surface realm and pledge yourselves to maintaining its new pristine condition. In this reality you are inevitably to thrive. We wish to increase our mentoring of you since the dark minions are no longer able to prevent this. The relationship between you and us is to advance another level. Millennia ago we were told to maintain an easy and constant contact with you. Owing to the nature of this dark realm, we were limited in accomplishing this sacred duty. Now, as the onerous conditions lapse, we are open to begin to change our interactions. Our councils are presently preparing a new approach to how these events can take place. The Agarthans offered places in Agartha, where, if necessary, we can arrange for special individual or group teachings. We are readying this new set of plans to take effect just before our space family's mass landings. As you can see, a much more inspiring realm is in store for us, and for you. We welcome these coming changes, and know that they can help all of you to better prepare for your future as fully conscious beings of light. Today. We explored what is now unfolding around this orb, as the final pieces of this new realm are put into place. It has been a long ride. We are approaching the time when we can truly celebrate this era of liberty, prosperity, and new governance. Know, dear ones, that the countless supply and never-ending prosperity of heaven are indeed yours. So be it. Selamat Gajan. Selamat Ya, Syrian for B1 and be in joy. Channeled by Sheldon Nidal www.paoweb.com